This morning, every summer, millions of us beat the heat by taking a dip in the pool. But did you know that in the United States, drowning is actually the second leading cause of death for children under 14? This morning, I'm honored to have competitive swimmer and Olympic gold medalist Jessica Hardy in our studios this morning. You are making a splash as, a, as this swimming foundation, the ambassador for U.S. Swimming Foundation. So first of all, what is the Make a Splash initiative? Uh, USA Swimming and Phillips 66 have partnered to create this amazing tour. It gives children the opportunity to, to have swim lessons and be exposed to water. Um, you know, as you said, lead, drowning is the second leading, lead, leading cause of death in the U.S. It's a huge epidemic, and unlike illnesses, there's a cure, um, and that's getting kids in the water. And I'm honored to be a part of the, the initiative. Jessica, I was surprised to learn that you as an Olympian almost drowned when you were three years old. If you could tell us what happened and how that really changed your life. We were at a, f a family friend's birthday party, and I did not know how to swim, but I fell in their pool. And luckily, you know, somebody noticed me and jumped in, one of my mom's friends, and you know, rescued me. But to this day, he jokes that he saved Olympic gold medal swimmer's life from, from drowning. But the next day, my mom enrolled me in swim lessons. So it goes to show you, if it can happen to an Olympic gold medalist, it can happen to anybody. It's, it's really important to get your kids enrolled in swim lessons. Um, you know, there's no such thing as water safe, but there's such thing as water safer. And eliminating the risk and being more mindful when you're in the, in the water, you know, it's very important. Jessica, we have a lot of lakes in our region, and so you were three years old when you started. What age should children learn to swim, and is infants too young? We've seen some of those amazing videos where they show babies how to flip over in the water. What's your recommendation? They say as soon as your child is able to sit up on their own, that it's time, they're ready. Um, in my opinion, it's never too early. You know, just getting them exposed to the water, more comfortable, they have more time to learn more skills, get a jump start on everybody else, why not? And my big question to you is, when did you learn how to do the butterfly and the backstroke, and when did you know I could be really, really good at this? I'm still learning. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a never-ending lesson. But, but I think, you know, about seven, I joined the swim team. And I think about seven, 16, 17, I realized, okay, let's, let's try for the Olympics. Let's give it a shot. Awesome. Where can folks learn more information about the Make a Splash campaign? USA Swimming Foundation has created a super easy website. You can go to usaswimmingfoundation.org, sign up today, find swimming lessons closest to you uh, for a friend, or you can even donate to help another child uh, sign up for swim lessons. USA Swimming Foundation has given over 3.5 million children lessons, and you know, c helping donate would help give um, lessons to child in need. Much Wonderful. appreciated. Olympic gold medalist Jessica Hardy, thank you so much for joining us here live this morning. Thanks for having me so much. Have a great day. Stick with us here on.